go. Good job. Those two. Those look like a nice size. What's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. If you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So uh, I just left PetSmart, grabbed those horn worms so we could go ahead and do a nice feeding video for you guys. And uh, now I'm about to head over to the bait shop, get these power worms, go to Pleasant Hill, all about fish. Then we're gonna get back to the house. See you in a minute. All right guys, so we are now, so we are now at this bait shop. And this is where I purchased the pile rock, the pile worms from. So um, this base shop is called Gotcha. It's uh it's over here in Rio Vista. So if you're local and you're around this area, or even if you just pass through this area and you like to fish, come check them out. Let's go get our let's go get our pile worms. All right, guys, so uh, we got our worms. We grabbed a dozen of our pile worms, and then we grabbed five dozen of our night crawlers. So now, it's all about fish. Ah. These guys are about to eat good. These guys are gonna eat real good. Hey, all right, so, so now we just made it. So, just made it over here to All About Fish. We're about to go in here. We're going to grab some rock, possibly. We're going to definitely grab some Nemo's and some Inverse. I don't know. We're going to see. We, I, I need to get some more salt water, though. So, first of all, we're going to get that salt water. We're going to grab that other fish because, again, the other one was too aggressive. So, bringing that one back. About to get the, about to get the southern one, the smaller. And, um... Yeah, so let's see what these that we'll see what they have in here. All right, so we got our salt, we got our fish. I decided to get some fancy clowns. You don't have to go with fancy clowns. I wanted fancy clowns. I bought. As a matter of fact, let me just show you. So, I have these fancy clowns. I have these damsels right here. And then, uh, as you see, I had to get that guy, smaller one. And then I got this branch that I'm gonna put into the 20 gallon. So, we got everything that we needed. We, heard, we purchased our horn worms. We purchased our pile worms. We purchased our night crawlers. We purchased our fish. Our salt water, nothing left to do but go home. I'll see you at the house. All right, what's going on? We back at the house. We have our branch that we're gonna put into this aquarium right here. We have our two clowns. See them? Okay. And then we have our beautiful two damsels. So. Obviously, I need to get these guys acclimated before I'm able to put them into this tank. So I'm gonna hook these guys up on a drip acclimation and then I'll be right back with you. So before I cut it, let me uh, tell you a little bit about, as I indicated when I was at the store, you do not have to buy 
these clownfish are known as designer clowns. So they're a little bit more expensive. I paid a hundred dollars for this pair of clownfish. Now, my method and reason and reasoning is because the regular clownfish are still thirty dollars for one. So these guys were basically twenty dollars more per fish, and I believe that uh, that they're certainly worth twenty dollars more than the regular standard clownfish. So that's gonna be up to you to decide, but that's my thinking, that's my. That's how I feel about it. So that's why I went ahead and, uh, and spent a little bit more. So for the regular clownfish, you might, and you might wind up paying $60 for a pair or even up to $80 for a pair. And if you think about it, these beautiful clownfish right here was just $20 or $40 more, depending on how much you paid. Um, they do get more expensive than this, believe it or not. They get really expensive. So um, I went with the medium range when you think when you're talking about expenses and how much some of these clownfish could cost. But um, I am more than satisfied and happy with this. So I separated it because they came from two different tanks. So that's why I'm leaving this one, leaving these two inside the bag so I can go ahead and do the drip acclimation right here. And then, um, Obviously, I put these guys in this bowl so I can do the drip acclimation right there. But I'm thinking I want to. Uh, I need to get. I need to get more um, more nice. containers. I need to get more containers, guys, because uh, it would make things so much easier if I had more containers. But let's let's see how this is going to work. So I will definitely pour out some of this water because I don't need it all. Since I'm going to be adding water into here from the tank. And again, you do not have to do it this way. By all means, please do it whichever way is comfortable for you because I don't want something to happen to your fish and then I'm to blame for it. So, let's get these guys dripping. And then we're gonna go ahead and move them on up in there. While we wait on these guys to get acclimated, I will place C in that branch. And I'm very lucky to have such a great pet store that's so close to me. This branch right here was about 18 bucks. And it's uh, exactly what I was looking for. Hmm. Look at that shirt. Look at the shirt, guys. Look at the <laughs> new merch. Oh, this is what I was talking about. So, I was telling you how some of these, these, these the, some of this live rocket has hosts. Look at that little baby anemone on, on top. I don't know if you could get it focused. You see it? It's right here. I see it. No, you're not really pointing in that spot, babe. It's right there behind it. There you go. Now you guys see it. There we go. So we have a little anemone right there that, um, that came on this live rock. So I had basically like an infestation of these guys um, a couple of years back and it, they're ve it's very hard to get rid of Aptasia so I bought all the different things that they say could remove Aptasia one comes in a form of like um, it's liquid and you, and you put it in like a little syringe and basically you feed it to the Aptasia and it's supposed to kill them it don't kill them so in the end, what I ended up doing was buying a file fish. The file fish loves Aptasia. So it ate it all. I didn't have any more issues with that. And I mean, it was tearing up my corals. Obviously, I can't really have corals now because I have this certain, these certain type of fish, like the trigger fish, the puffer, um, and uh, who else is gonna eat that? And also, of course, the rabbit fish might pick at it. So I cannot have corals. 
which is okay with me. But um, if you want corals, you definitely want to make sure that you have fish that will not eat it. But if you have the nuisance adaptation, then you could go ahead and make sure you also have that fish. Like I said, the file fish will eat that. So, yep, just a little food for thought, guys. All right, so got those guys acclimating. Next. Next, we're going to situate this branch in there. Ideally, I would prefer for them to uh, just put this in a bag instead of wrapping it in bubble wrap but at least it's still wet. And, uh, okay, that one came out. Oh no. Harley. So for now, I'll just situate it like this. I don't know how. That looks good. Look. How that looks. Pretty. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you saying that. So, my baby says, pretty is pretty. <laughs> All right. All right, so we have our branch in there. We have our fish over here acclimating. Once they're done, I'll be back and we'll get them into that tank. See you in a minute. Yeah, come on. Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. So, I guess he jumped out. Come on. There you go. Come on. I see you. I'm trying. I see it. some air in your in your gills get some air in those gills come on there you go there we go there we go baby you brought him back there we go good job give me a kiss mm -hmm. that's what i'm talking about your back there we go <laughs> oh man you guys did that. so <laughs> Uh, maybe it's, maybe this setup right here isn't the best setup. I won't do it again. This guy jumped out, was dried out. I don't know how long he was on the floor, but um, we just revived him, guys. He's gonna live. You did so, that. Man, Call you Doctor Fish. Man, so happy about that. All right. Yeah. I think it's time That's to put them in the tank. All right, so you just witnessed a little miracle, guys. <laughs> Brought a fish back to life. I was so disappointed, and um, I should have had a, I should have kept a better eye on these guys. Got a little distracted with them with feeding these other fish, but there was no casualties, which is always a wonderful thing. You really and did now, that. <laughs> now we are going, uh, so basically, just to kind of like, in case you're wondering what, what I did. So he was like dried out. So basically what I was trying to do was move him back and forth so he could get some air, some oxygen in his gills. And uh, it worked, so. Good job. Let's find the net. Alright. Who's going in first? 
we are going to put in these beautiful clowns. Come on. Ooh. And now. Oh, no. Now we're going to get in these damsels. And I'm so happy that not only were we able to save them, but I'm glad that you guys were able to see it for yourself because right just in case one of your you know you have a fish that ever is that ever get out if you catch him in time you may have the chance of saving him so don't always just give up on him right away and that's the one that was that was on the floor oh you could tell yeah his eyes are a little bugged out but you gotta understand like he was on his way out so yeah I gotta get Carter. I know. All right. You want? All right, so we finish that up. I'll do the montage. All right, guys. I'm hoping that he'll be okay. He's swimming. We'll uh, we'll see. He was practically dead on the floor. But anyway, that's it. We have our clownfish, our designer clowns. I will find out exactly what kind they are because they didn't, they didn't tell me. Um, it was also wasn't written on the tank. But we have our clownfish. We also have our damsels in here. And um, these are just the first additions to this 20 gallon. So what I'll do is I'll probably wait a couple weeks before I add anything else in here. Uh, because I don't want to run the risk of getting any of these fish sick. Um, so, just be a little patient. Like I said, we're going to add in the inverse. We're going to add the cleanup crew. We're going to put corals in here. We're going to do all of that. It just takes a little bit of time. You don't want to rush it right away. Um, you, you speed it up. That's how you get fish sick. That's how you lose fish. That's how tanks crash, um, etc. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm, after I'm done, I'm going to run a little montage on these guys so you can, you know, just enjoy them as much as I do and plan on continuously doing. But um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please share this video if you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. And uh, don't forget to check out the merch. With that being said, peace.